For the King, he's been itching, itching to get back to work, and we've seen him a lot now, haven't we? Um, for the Princess of Wales, uh, this is, as, as we have noted, the first time we've seen her since Christmas, and the crowds really turned out to mm. see her. I think that the sense of relief at seeing her with the children, of course, and looking, all of them looking so relaxed and happy, uh, is, is a source of great joy for the British public. Yeah. For the British public, but also for the royal family, we know how popular the Princess of Wales is. Yes, I mean, you, uh, of course, you look at the newspapers today and everywhere we mm. see the Princess of Wales. You know, this is the King's birthday <laughs> drooping the mm. colour and we see the Princess of Wales everywhere. Um, she is a beacon for the royal family. The, the uh, future of the monarchy rests as much on her shoulders as it does on Prince William's. Mm. Yeah, indeed. In, in her statement yesterday, um, something, a particular line stood out for me where she said, I am learning how to be patient, especially with uncertainty. Mm. I think that resonates with a lot of people, no matter whatever challenges that they may be facing. Mm. Yes, I think she's been a bit of a role model in this, uh, actually. You know, she's going through this cancer treatment. It would be uh, not easy, but she would be able to sort of pop in every now and again. But she knows she needs to be patient with herself. She needs to make sure she's properly well before she comes back to full-time work. Um, Lots and lots of people go through this, of course, yeah. and I think they, uh, they are looking to the royal family at this moment to show um, how you can take time, how you should yeah. take time, how cancer treatment is a very, very serious process, mm -hmm. but um, that you, you can uh, carry on with your life mm -hmm. uh, what, during mm -hmm. it. As you say, King Charles has also been dealing with cancer and King, the King and Queen attended in a carriage and not on horseback. So mm -hmm. that was a break from the norm, isn't it? Well, that was a break from, uh, not, not so much the norm, but that was a break from what we would expect from the King. He, mm. he would have uh, led that procession as he did last year on, on the horse Noble, um, a feisty horse actually, so I'm not surprised that he, he didn't choose to take that. Princess Anne instead was on that horse, on horseback. Um, but yes, he was in the carriage there with, with Camilla. We also saw him standing on that dais for so long, um, you know, 20 minutes taking that salute. Yeah. That's quite a long time. And then later on again outside Buckingham Palace in the pouring rain. So, uh, uh, you know, stalwart, stalwart. Yeah, uh, 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 William was all the Prince William of Japan was also on horseback as well. For, for those of us who were watching this ceremony and just sort of marveling at the colour and the pomp and the ceremony of it all, but what, what is the origin of it? What's behind <laughs> it? What's the significance of this ceremony? So look, this is, this is uh, hundreds and hundreds of years old, this ceremony. Um, it's called Trooping the Colour because the colour is the flag of the uh, king, of the monarch, and uh, is trooped in battle. Each, each year, a different regiment uh, troops their colour in front of the king. But going back, if you were in battle and you needed to get back to your regiment and you needed to find where, you, where they were, you would look for the for the colour mm -hmm. and so you would go for that colour and you'd say oh yes on the battlefield there's there's my flag mm -hmm. I'll head in that mm -hmm. direction. And for, is there still wide um, acceptance and appetite for these sorts of big events in the British public widely? I think so you know this is this is an annual event uh, British public look forward to it a lot they turn out on the streets and of course we see that balcony appearance mm. um, where we see the royal we see the royals on the balcony the working royals mm. this is a major event um, now we know that Britain will be going to the polls on July 4th and I read somewhere that the royal duties would be scaled back ahead mm. of that is that right <laughs> mm. yes D didn't look too scaled back did it no. <laughs> Not this time no no but after this, I suppose, we wait until after July 4th and then... Well, look, there, you know, there's Royal Ascot next week. I understand we're not going to see the Princess of Wales there. She's not turning up to that. But, you know, Royal Ascot is a horse race, mm -hmm. so it's yeah. hardly going to um, hold back from the election. But the idea is that uh, you don't take the, the British public's eye off the electioneering for the politicians.